Hi and welcome to another Three String Cigar Box Guitar Lesson. I'm uh, Sean from Coda Guitar and uh, today we're looking at uh, a lesson about how you can apply the blues scale to the Three String Cigar Box Guitar. Um, so we've already had some lessons looking at um, scales with more notes in which work well with um, different chord sequences and, and what have you but um, the blues scale is uh, actually just basically the minor pentatonic scale which is a five note scale with uh, one extra note added in um, and so it's uh, great for blues uh, hence the name um, alongside sort of classic rock and things like that so uh, we'll just get in tune and then we'll get stuck in so we've got G low G middle D G. All right, so just standard tuning as always. So, um, quick recap: the uh, we'll just do it on one string. The minor pentatonic scale is um, in the key of G. It's uh, we've got say open string one, straight to fret three. Uh, I'm doing all this with a slide, by the way. Um, I just happen to be using um, on my third finger. Uh, you, you can use it on other fingers. Um, it's, it's entirely slide this demo, so it doesn't really matter too much. And then we've got fret five, we've got fret seven, fret ten, and there's what you call the octave, the high G on fret twelve. So uh, literally the blue scale, uh, so five notes plus the octave. Um, so that literally the blue scale, just adding one extra note in, in between fret five and seven, frets five and seven, you're just adding in fret six. Simple as that, dead, dead easy. Open, fret three. Loads of uh, very well-known tunes using um, using that particular scale, um, and uh, we can play that on uh, on different strings if we want. Um, so we've got low G, uh, and so it's going to be exactly the same frets because both these strings are G. So it's open three, five, six, seven, ten, twelve. All right. And um, if we were going to play on the middle string, um, so um, I'm just running through this quite quickly. Um, th there is another uh, lesson which is just on sort of basic actually fretting and not slide playing. Um, and it's looking at sort of certain aspects of um, technique, but it does actually cover the uh, pentatonic scale in that one as well. So, um, you know, feel free to check that out if you want to. But basically we're uh, on the middle string, uh, we're going to play G on uh, fret 5 because it's an open D so G is fret 5 and so carrying on up from there would go to fret 8, fret 10 and 11, 12 so, so the, X, the, the blues note is now on fret 11 the, the one that turns it into a blues scale 10, 11, 12 Uh, and if you wanted to go down lower, you would go from fret 5 to fret 3 and then down to the open D. I'm, I'm not bothering to, to go higher than fret 12. Um, but if you, if you did want to, it would literally, you'd just um, go for fret 3 equivalent, which on this one is a dot, so that's the 15th, and then fret 7 equivalent, fret 5 equivalent, which is this one, fret um, 17 and so on. Run out of frets there, so I'm I'm, I'm not I'm not going to worry about that. Um, and so, if you wanted to play across the strings, you could do something like that. Uh, I mean, if we're just playing pentatonic, we'd probably go up to the the open D, uh, and then fret three, fret five on the middle string. But because if I wanted to play that note to turn it into the blues scale, uh, I might want to go for frets five, six, seven on, on the low string.
and then carrying on I've got open G high G fret 3 Uh, so what, what you can do is, um, uh, if you find any song that's, uh, say, a blues uh, that's in the key of G, uh, you can play any of these notes uh, across any of these strings uh, over the top, basically like trying to improvise a solo. Um, you know, just try and make it sort of short lyrical phrases, um, as in um, just something that feels almost like a musical sentence, nothing too long and kind of waffly, just a little fairly concise to start with if you're not that comfortable if you're not that familiar with improvising. Um, just short sort of bursts, few notes, slight gap, a few more notes, just, just carry on like that, that works really well for blues. Um, and also trying to find um, notes where they're on the same fret, because that works really well with the slide as well. So uh, fret 3 works across all the strings, fret 5 works across all the strings, fret 10 also, and fret 12. Um, I mean, if you if you play um, all three strings all the way through, it sounds can sound a bit too much like chords. So I was just like selecting the top two. Um, so anything from single notes to you know pairs of notes, even three three notes here and there, get quite an effective sound. Um, but what I was doing in that um, intro, <coughs> the beginning was um, just just trying to play a few few phrases. Um, it's like a solo thing. So uh, as always, we've got the thumb um, thumping away on the beat and um, just trying to emphasize the, the notes from the blue scale basically. So um, it's got a shuffle, it's got a swung rhythm to it. So um, all, all of the um, notes in between the thumb are kind of uneven. That it's, it's got a nice lazy um, swung feel to it. Um, so I'll just go through um, the melody to start with. Uh, so straight away is picking out the little blues run and then it went to fret 3 and added that in with the thumb. bit of palm muting. Um, if you're not that comfortable with palm muting there is a, a free lesson on basic picking which you can check out. But um, the thumbs on the beat and there was varied on and off beats with what I was just doing in the melody there. So it's together when it's on the beat, they, they both pluck at the same time. In between, on the beat, a pull again, off the beat. So it's on, off, on, off. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm, I'm going to slide up to um, fret 5 on the middle string. So I've, I've got to really watch, if you can see that, I've got to really watch the angle of my um, slide here because I, I want to try not to catch string 1. Um, if you've got sometimes more sort of stubby slides can be quite good for, for selecting the, the, the middle string. Um, but uh, if you manage to do it, that's quite interesting because you're going up to a G and then that is also uh, three G's basically. So we've got Finishing off from there, we're, we're going up, so I'm, I'm keeping this um, low G open and I'm going to um, cover fret 10 on the other two strings and go up to fret 12. And that is a pull and that's in between, so fret 10's on the beat, so we've got Okay, so I'll, I'll just do that one more time. So we've got one and two and three, and finish it off on the open strings, and then middle string, one, two,
to that second bar. One, two, three, four. The second bar starts the same. So the second phrase, sorry, it's and then I'm just going to cover the top two strings. I've still got the open G, and so that's a pull. Another um, two, two fingers together in between, and then cover all of the strings. So it sounds like we're going to a C chord now. So all of that is just two strings. Third time, same as the first one. And then the fourth phrase is so I'm using that um, that that note from the blue scale, uh, and what I'm doing is I'm angling back the other way here. Uh, no, sorry, it's the same way, but I'm 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 trying to clear two strings. So um, here I was just trying to pick out that middle one is actually more difficult here I'm just making sure I'm not catching the, the D or the G so I'm playing fret 7 fret 6 fret 3 So we've got th uh, brush play together, and then finger, thumb, fret three on the top string, and then pair of notes again, fret ten to twelve. Okay, so um, you want to practice that in, in different uh, phrases, basically, diff different sort of sections, but all of it together is three, four. Then, pair of notes, hold C, start again. So that's the first cycle. Um, the second cycle, just um, putting some um, sort of faster notes in again. We've, we've, we've got this angle with with the bar again, with the slide, so that we um, so that we don't we don't catch string one. Got to make sure you don't catch this this bass one as well. Um, so these are triplets. So I'm going one two three one two three. And we, we can slide in each time once you get used to it. I'm actually um, sort of resting here, so I'm, I'm, I'm keeping that very sort of precise um, hand position and just moving it up and down. I'm not sort of changing. It's, it's got to be a complete sort of parallel movement, otherwise you'll start catching the string underneath. So uh, that's index, middle, index. And uh, they're, they're triplets, so we can fit three of them per thumb. Thumb, 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 thumb. And then from there, we can go to frets 10 and 12. Uh, 
and I'll just do that twice. So that's one and two, three, four. So we've got triplets. One, two, three, 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 four. Triplets again. And then fret three, uh, just cover two strings. So that's the same as the first time. And then triplets again. And then the ending, let's just go for the same as before. Okay, so the, the only real difference is that we're putting the triplets in the second time. Um, there's, there's just some quite nice little um, licks, little phrases um, that, uh, that, that sound pretty bluesy. And um, it's quite good uh, if there's anything like that that you like the sound of, um, basically uh, learn it almost like shelve it, keep keep it there, and you, you can pull it out in other songs. Um, and, uh, you, you know, and, and, and you, you can centre any of your improvising um, around sort of learnt little phrases like that, which, which is quite useful, because sometimes it can be very difficult to just um, pull a fantastic solo out of the bag, completely improvised. That's 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 not an easy thing to do. And so, if you've got certain phrases which uh, you think sound good, and um, you think can be applied to different songs, then uh, keep them, and um, you can throw them in, and you can put more genuinely improvised um, uh, notes around those, uh, and, and it will just help to structure your solos, make it sound more musical. Um, so feel free to sort of completely de deconstruct this if you like any of it, and uh, you know, you use it yourself in, in other um, circumstances. But basically, um, <clears throat> all, all the way through that second cycle with, with the triplets uh, would, would sound something like this. So go one, two, three, four. <laughs> Again. C. And then end in. So I've kept all of that um, fairly uh, straight and simple compared to how I played it in the demo. It's just slightly more involved. Uh, when, when you get used to all of that, what you can do if you want is to, to fill it out, kind of give it a nice um, a rhythmical feel, sort of really emphasize that swung rhythm is uh, you, you can do the odd. do the odd sort of like um, pull off and, and hammer on which which um, uh, stays within that sort of swung groove um, I mean I'd, I'd keep it simple to start with and, and uh, you know if, if you want to learn this just just play exactly as as written and then you can start adding some of those kind of extra little inflections in afterwards um, but uh, basically that is just a little demo using the blue scale um, hardly any chords in it it goes to a C occasionally but it's mostly just on a G um, you can apply quite a lot of that to um, playing in actual um, you know 12 bar blues where you, you change it chords and all the rest of it um, you know a lot of those riffs will work um, and like I said you know play over um, any recordings that you can find G blues uh, play along with other people fantastic but uh, I hope you enjoyed that there's going to be another lesson um, drop soon which is just looking at the major pentatonic um, so instead of the seven note major scale we've looked at in previous lessons we're going to be looking at the five note major pentatonic it's got a nice sort of strong sound to it and that works particularly well for again blues and sort of roots uh, folk country anything like that so uh, look out for that uh, please subscribe if you like this content and we look forward to seeing you here again soon on Coda Guitar